Hi everyone and welcome back to Betting This For You TV. We have had a fantastic results this week with the Champions League and Europa League. Our experts have delivered several wins every day. Some win testy odds like the 7-2 on Bamford to score first against Southampton and a massive 11-1 both teams to score Akka. In Europa League, we tip Aubame Young correctly to score and Arsenal to win in 90 minutes and also to qualify. On Saturday, we landed a 9-1 and an 11-1 overnight Akka on the side and also our Premier League double won for the fourth time in a row and returning a LT 3-1. Our bet of the day was also successful as Bolton defeated Barrow in League 2. You can check all our winnings bets by watching our last episode on Betting This For You TV channel or go to bettingthisforyou.com and go to the section Betting This For You TV where you will find all the winning bets and all the last uh, videos. Well done to our experts once again and let's hope we can continue this Sunday. In today's show, we will start with a treble from our expert here at Betting This For You TV at quarter and a bet of the day for Sunday. We will then hear what our Premier League expert Robbie Billund is suggesting for this Super Sunday. Last but not least, we are heading to mainland Europe as our Italian and Spanish expert Luca Semproni we provide these tips on the Italian Serie A and Spanish La Liga also for Sunday. Make sure you subscribe to Betting This For You TV as you will be able to access all those exclusive tips and also get notifications when new videos are released. Remember that those tips are not available on our website on our Twitter feed. You can only find them by watching videos here at Betting This For You TV on YouTube. All you need to do to subscribe is to log in into your YouTube account, click in the link in the post above and everything is completely free. Also, in the description below, you will find the links that will load the best suggestion in this video directly in your bet slip. In this way, you will save time as you don't have to find those selections in the bookmaker sites. You will ensure to back our tips correctly and also get the best possible odds as we always look for the bookmakers that have the best price for our tips. Remember though that uh, odds are always subject to change, so make sure you double check them before betting. So there is a lot to go through and let's start immediately with the treble released by our Bet This For You TV headquarter experts. The first selection is Lyon to beat Marseille. To start our treble, we are heading to France where Marseille are hosting Lyon. The visitors are coming into the ma this match having won their last three in a row. They now have 17 points more than Marseille and a win in this clash could take Rudy Garcia's men to the top of the table depending on the results from Lille earlier in the day. Marseille have been struggling this season and look very vulnerable. The visitors have also failed to keep a clean sheet in the last nine matches. And uh, Lyon have the tendency to come out flying, so an early goal from them could lead things getting out of control for Marseille really quickly. So this is our first selection for our treble. The second selection for our treble is uh, Bayer Leverkusen to beat Freiburg. The Bundesliga has been very competitive this season and Bayer Leverkusen are currently in fifth place, just ahead of Dortmund. In midweek, they were eliminated from the Europa League, so reaching a top six position is their main objective now. Despite the home advantage isn't a top factor this season with no fans in the stadium, they must be like playing in Leverkusen as Bayer have lost only two of their last 13 in the Bundesliga. In addition to this, Leverkusen are unbeaten in the last seven matches against Freiburg and there is value to back the O's to bounce back from the disappointment in the Europa League. So this is the, the second selection. The third and last selection of our treble is Lille to beat Strasbourg. Lille are having a great season and are at the top of the table at the moment after they beat uh, Lorient 4-1, uh, they defeated Lorient 4-1 away from home in the last weekend. They have three-point advantage over Paris Saint-Germain and have defeated Strasbourg 3-0 when those two teams met in the reverse fixture. The visitors have lost three of the last six in all competitions and have failed to register in four of the last six matches. Lille to win and stay top of the table is our last election of this Sunday treble. So our Sunday treble return a healthy 5-1. If you bet £10, you will get back around £50, but always double check the odds as those are subject to move. That would be a very nice way to end the week, isn't it? In our Sunday bet of the day, we are back in Napoli to beat Benevento with one goal handicap. Napoli have lost two of the last four games in the Serie A, but we believe the quality 
is there to make the difference in this clash. The Azzurri have won five of the last six matches at the Diego Armando Maradona Stadium in all competitions and have a goal difference of plus 12 across those matches. In midweek, they also defeated Granada, so they come into this match very keen to improve their, their current run, even though they were eliminated in the Europa League. Benevento are struggling this season and are in 15th place in the table and are also winless in the last seven matches. After being eliminated in the Europa League, we expect a determined Napoli that will be keen to bounce back in the Serie A, which remain the last hope for a European qualification. So we are back in Napoli to win comfortably in the handicap market. So Napoli to win with one goal handicap against Benevento is our bet of the day for Sunday. Let's now hear what our Premier League expert Robbie Billund is proposing for this Sunday's match. I can see that Robin is already connected with us. So Robin, that's over to you. Hi everyone, it's time for more Premier League football and we have a super Sunday ahead of us. Uh, we have Leicester against Arsenal, we have Chelsea against Manchester United and we have a Liverpool team. Uh, the last game out uh, on the Sunday night that has to win against Sheffield United if uh, that season isn't to be all over already. But we also have Spurs who actually looked really good in midweek. Of course, it was against the Wolfsburg. We don't really know what they have and how the st strength and quality is with that team. But uh, at the same time, we saw some individual individual great skills from players like Deli Ali and Gareth Bale. And if they could finally get their seasons going, that would be a huge boost for Mourinho's men. They, uh, Dele Alli, together with Gareth Bale, together with Young Min Son, together with Harry Kane, they have so much attacking power if they just can get that to work as a unit. And we give them a chance at the weekend. Uh, we think there's great value just in uh, Spurs beating Burnley. You could probably look even at a minus one. But we have made a double for Sunday's games. And in the double, we go only with this straight win. So Spurs to beat Burnley is the first pick for our double on Sunday. The next game is Chelsea against Manchester United. I think, or I hope that you have tried to forget. But <laughs> I think many of you remember when those two teams met uh, a few months back. It was probably one of the worst games of the season, a nil-nil game at uh, Old Trafford. Both teams seemed so happy with the draw, uh, and we can only hope that we get a little bit, a bit more intensity, some energy in this game. But at the same time, both teams played in midweek. Uh, Chelsea, for example, they have Liverpool coming up in next midweek as well. And uh, with Manchester United probably too many points ahead, uh, Chelsea's biggest uh, opponent in the race for top four, that is Liverpool, uh, which could make them wanting to sit back even more. They are already playing a very solid, very structured, very well-organized uh, style of play with Tuchel. Uh, and we will have to... Um, it will be interesting to see how they attack this game. I think it will be very controlled quite boring probably again uh, and I think there's value even at looking at the draw here but we think that if any team is to win this Manchester United with the individu individual skills of Bruno Fernandes and also Marcus Rashford that could be the tipping point that brings all the points to Manchester but what we do here is that we make uh, a double game we play the both uh, draw and Manchester United to win a double chance so draw or uh, away team to win and we combine that with Spurs to win and that is our double for Sunday Spurs to beat Burnley and a double chance with draw or Manchester United in Chelsea against Manchester United. Um, and um, I wish you all the best of luck with that double. The best bet for Sunday is probably not the best bet, but we think there is too much value to not have a look at it. We all know that Liverpool are in horrendous form at the moment. They seem to totally have lost everything they had last season. They are not scoring goals. 
Uh, they have huge problems in the defensive department. It's a huge crisis with their central defenders. They might have Allison who have to sit out due to all the personal circumstances for him. But if this team should ever come together, prove their worth, show the world what they can do, it's time to do it now. And they are playing Sheffield United, probably the worst team in the league. All the respect to Chris Wilder for everything he's done. But Liverpool are about one, two, three, four sizes bigger and better if they just show up and give them their best. Uh, Liverpool at the minus one handicap is at a chance for you to double your money. And if I was given that odds a few weeks ago, I would take it, steal it, run away with it. Um, and I think you should have a look at it, uh, even though Liverpool have the form they have. Um, it's not for anyone, but anyone who is looking for at least good value, I think here is a chance to uh, to get away with something extra. So Liverpool at a minus one against Sheffield United. Try it. Let's hope for it together. Have a great weekend and uh, enjoy everything and um, have a good time. Thank you, Robin. Let's hope to get more wins today. We always back the tips provided by our experts weeks in and weeks out as we are very confident of their hard work and experience. So far, we have been correct as we have achieved great results. But now let's head to Italy where our local Italian and Spanish football expert Luca Semproni will provide the tips and analysis for this Sunday's Serie A and La Liga. I can see that Luca is ready in Italy, so let's go to warmer weather immediately and Luca, that's over to you. Ciao Simone, ben ritrovati a tutti amici e a tutte le amiche di Betting Tips for You che ci seguono. Allora, oggi vi diamo una doppia dal campionato italiano e oramai, come consuetudine e come abitudine, due giocate singole su due marcatori. Partiamo dalla doppia del campionato italiano. La prima partita che, sulla quale vogliamo scommettere è Udinese-Fiorentina 1. L'Udinese viene da due vittorie e due pareggi ed una sconfitta quindi nelle ultime cinque partite. La Fiorentina invece ha ottenuto due vittorie, due sconfitte e un pareggio nelle ultime cinque. Eh, L'Udinese ecco, è, è una buona squadra, molto quadrata, sta facendo un buon campionato. La Fiorentina ultimamente si è eh, ripresa eh, con Prandelli, ma comunque sta facendo un campionato al di sotto delle aspettative. Siccome visto e considerato che la quadra è alta, giochiamo Udinese-Fiorentina 1. La seconda partita sulla quale vogliamo puntare è Roma-Milan 1, anche qui una quota abbastanza alta, una partita difficile. La Roma infatti ha ottenuto tre vittorie nelle ultime cinque. Il Milan invece ha ottenuto eh, tre sconfitte e due vittorie nelle ultime cinque partite. Le squadre vengono a due momenti di differenti perché la Roma comunque ha ottenuto una brillante qualificazione in Europa League battendo 2-0 in Braga fuori casa e 3-1 in casa e eh, in campionato comunque ha offerto delle, delle buone prestazioni tranne appunto nei big match, gli incontri con squadre che la precedono dove non riuscirà a ottenere una vittoria il Milan invece eh, è, eh, ha ottenuto una, vittoria, eh, una qualificazione scusate, sofferta in Europa League contro la Stella Rossa e comunque sta stentando ultimamente in campionato basti vedere il 3-0 veramente pesante nel derby quindi ci aspettiamo che finalmente la Roma riesca a sfatare il tabù degli sconti diretti e perciò vi consigliamo Roma-Milan 1 perciò la doppia è Udinese-Fiorentina 1 Roma-Milan 1 veniamo poi come di consigliare marcatori questa settimana vogliamo consigliarvi dei marcatori un po' più semplici e scommettiamo su uh, Suarez in Villarreal Atletico, 16 gol quest'anno per lui e uh, è a secco da 4 partite, quindi insomma ci aspettiamo che torni al gol. Nel ricordarvi come al solito di giocare responsabilmente, mh, auguro buon calcio a tutti come al solito e ridotte la linea Simone. Thanks Luca, and let's hope we can achieve some more results this week. It's all for this Sunday show and from all of us we wish you a great Super Sunday Good luck with your bets, but most importantly, always remember to gamble responsibly. Make sure you subscribe to Betting This For You TV as you will be able to access all those exclusive tips and also get notifications when new videos are released. Remember that those tips are not available on our website or on our Twitter feed. You can only find them by watching videos here at Betting This For You TV on YouTube. 
All you need to do to subscribe is to login into your YouTube account, click in the link in the post above and everything is completely free. Also in the description below, you will find the links that will load the best suggestion in this video directly in your bed sleep. In this way, you will save time as you don't have to find those selections in the bookmaker sites. You will ensure to back our tips correctly and also get the best possible odds as we always look for the bookmakers that have the best price for our tips. Remember though that uh, odds are always subject to change, so make sure you double check them before betting.